I think we found the key guts right here. Look at this, dude. It's melted. Oh my. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the third vlog style video. Is that what you want to call it? We mix and match it up. It's kind of vlog style, kind of B-roll, kind of original. Kind of everything, you know, just doing it different right now. And I hope you guys are enjoying it because we are enjoying it making these videos. They're kind of like unpredictable, you know what I mean? That's true, yeah, because we are in that stage where we're waiting on some 2020 Cadillac parts and also 2021 TRX parts. So and we're kind know, of moving, still moving. Yeah, you know still I mean? moving. You know what's crazy? Our newest build that we haven't released, we basically got all the parts for it, dude. That is crazy, dude. So I think you're actually going to get that build this month, maybe on Ooh. Christmas Day. What? That, that'd be an insane one, dude. But we're definitely going to be releasing that once we probably try to finish up the Cadillac. Still waiting on that radiator support and stuff like that. TRX, don't even ask, man. Just no, no, those parts will be here really soon oh, as really? well. So. You never know, it might even be in this video, dude. Dude, that'd be epic. So we're definitely gonna be giving some calls today. Uh, right now we're here at the at the uh, uh, new Goon Squad headquarters, but the new new Goon Squad head, I mean, this is gonna be Goon Squad headquarters compound. compound up here. So new house is gonna be going up here really soon. We still got a lot of work to do. I mean, we're trying to do the land clearing ourselves. We got the equipment, might as well do it. You know, And it's mean? super fun. I mean, it is kind of sketchy, but you know what? This is this is in our blood right hey, here. I right? need those chaps, you know, those, uh, those jean chaps. So like if chainsaw slits don't cut yourself or something like that. But I mean, we're taking every precaution. All we need to do is probably get some longer blades for the chainsaw. That's that right. way we can make one cut, you know? But right now, we're not going to pick up some chaps. We're going to pick up something else, right? Yeah, so right now, I mean, uh, I think we're going to pick up something pretty epic, dude. Something should we say it right now or should we just show it like whenever we I like... I said we head there and then we'll explain why you're actually purchasing this yeah, thing, right? So we're going to go ahead and head down the mountain, go pick up the Raptor and then go get something else. guys so it is the next day here because yesterday kind of got a little bit late on us because we we're at the dealership picking something up and look at this thing Ooh, dude that thing looks mean right dude, there 2021 raptor 700 r right 22. here 22? 2022 Dang, i didn't even know that so 2022 raptor special edition dude this thing is a beast dude yep it is super sweet so we ended up picking up the raptor to pick up the raptor right we here i just thought that was cool man yeah we had to get it there's no mean, real reason behind it it was just cool yeah we were just like might as well pick up the raptor with the raptor dude so we put put this thing on the back of it but dude this is epic man we've always wanted one of these we actually had one whenever we were younger like a long time ago i think one of our uh cousins <laughs> three years ago we were younger three yeah, years ago like, it was like <laughs> no well, no we had one remember oh yeah we did have one first or uh, one of our um friends had one and left it at our house because he didn't have nowhere to park it and he let us ride it and we kind of got addicted to that quad and then three years ago we actually purchased one blown and then we boarded it over to like 750 or 740 something like that and that thing was tuned and everything it had the power commander on it as well so that thing was much more responsive than this bone stock one yep. right here but this thing is pretty sweet dude, too, This thing dude. is pretty sweet. So 2022 right here, had to pick it up. And one of the main reasons why we got this quad, it's not that we needed it, it's kind of that I wanted it. You know what I mean? Right. So go ahead, go ahead. I finish. mean, I, I bought this thing because I wanted to build my credit. So right now, I mean, I have 
basically no credit at all and this right here is going to be a good way to start it i mean people get credit cards and all sorts of stuff well i actually opened up a yamaha credit card when i purchased this thing so this is going to build my credit and i have a credit card so if you want one i'll swipe it <laughs> <laughs> i actually wouldn't mind after driving this last night and this morning i was like dude i gotta get me a four-wheeler too dude, dude. ultimate and we actually got pretty lucky on this four-wheeler because i mean if you guys don't if you guys look for four-wheelers new ones they're kind of hard to get right now the honda dealership all sold out of their hunting four-wheelers four by four four-wheelers and everything and also suzuki around here sold out and just kawasaki four-wheelers just four-wheelers are hard to get so don't, they all sell out you don't know? buy a kawasaki ever. <laughs> yeah don't do it i don't know maybe they're good but honestly this was like a like a last minute thing because i called checking around and they said we have one in stock because somebody didn't go through with the deal and i was like i'm, I'm gonna come i'm gonna come out there right now dude <laughs> yeah you came out there and you basically you're financing this thing right yeah. now, right now basically um, yeah i put like two thousand dollars down on this thing that way it drops my payment to like 190 a month and i'm just gonna pay it off in a slow amount that way it builds my credit really well and also i got like the 36 month warranty on this thing or something like that yep that way if the transmission or engine blows uh they'll cover that i mean dude. it's all, always good to have something yeah. some warranty on something brand new right there but not only did you buy this to build your credit you also bought it to carry chainsaws right yeah i mean i'm gonna need like a whole entire like setup back here to put some stuff on there but i mean this thing is bone stock super epic four-wheeler this is like the neon yellow type on black special edition i mean it's just brand new four-wheeler you could do a ton of stuff to these things i mean we're already talking about widening this thing out wider axles wider a arms in the front maybe exhaust it does have the stock exhaust but this thing is tuned so well that you don't need like aftermarket exhaust i mean you could get one it'll probably boost a little bit of throttle response but as of right now in these woods it's nice and quiet Dude, you know yeah. what I mean? this right here is the perfect all-around quad so it's sport and also trail and the fact that it has reverse is also amazing so most like race quads they don't have the reverse this one yeah. has it so it's just perfectly set up for this type of terrain around perfect. here dude i mean I, I was thinking about a hunting quad but i really don't really use like those kind of four by four big quads and stuff we like got the that can -Am yeah that. we got the can am four wheeler i mean this thing is just the perfect setup if you guys haven't rode a 700r dude definitely try one out they're super comfortable super powerful this thing lifts up in any gear dude, dude yep and also it just looks absolutely amazing as well but that's it right there we're gonna probably put it to use today cruise around and this morning me and pops actually swung by you actually purchased some too <laughs> something pretty sweet man it may be a little bit better than this four wheel it probably is and as you can see one two three the new beast right here and it's actually an echo and uh what made you think of an echo what made you purchase this dude well it was all pop's idea actually <laughs> no i'm kidding we, me and pops went to the store and uh we we're looking for a steel the the steel brand but nobody really had it they're not readily available so we just decided to give this another shot echo this is the highest most powerful model that echo has to offer right yes, here dude. So, and this is the 28 inch blade right here uh you can get a bigger blade four more inches bigger but you know what for right now that it came, since it came with a chainsaw i think it's perfect i mean look at that sucker Dang. that is freaking huge it's about as wide as this four wheeler right wider, here dude, dude. wider <laughs> that's a 73 cc two stroke right there v6 or v8 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dude, but, but this thing is going to be a beast right here. We're definitely yeah. going to put it to a test. Grab the extra chain just in case we uh, slip up and hit a rock or something yep. like that. We'll throw an extra chain on. That way we're not slowed down today. And hopefully this cuts through that wide oak, dude. Yep. Just clean through yep. We it, got dude. all the equipment up in the woods over there. Also got a few other chains, longer bars for other chainsaws just here. Uh, tighten these chains, uh, sharpen them up. I mean, three chainsaws, three people three times the work dude. that's what i'm talking or about or maybe two times the work because i'm probably gonna be riding around while y'all working know. dude <laughs> <laughs>
would you look at that right there? Dude, just look at it, dude. <laughs> just look at it. Don't even smell it. Don't touch it. Don't eat it. Man, that's some good steak. So we came down the mountain, right? We came down the mountain a little bit. Just like two steps right there. So we made it down the mountain here after doing a bunch of cleanup. What we were mainly doing was actually cleaning up what we dropped down. So all those big trees, just cutting them up, chopping everything up, making little firewood stacks, and also burning some of the brush, you know, the little limbs and stuff that's like that. That's right. But what about this absolute unit here, dude? dude how's it doing? This right here is just an absolute ripper, man. This big old 28 inch blade actually is a perfect length it cut through that big tree no problems dude yep, and the 73 cc motor right there no bogging dude, none of that sounds man. amazing dude that thing actually has a lot more horsepower than those other saws right there and that's it man that's the perfect saw for us right now perfect dude. right there so we're gonna probably go back in there here in a little bit we cleaned out the stuff that fell and i think we're gonna take a different approach we're probably just gonna knock one tree down at a time yeah right? definitely because once we did that up there they were kind of all in the way we had to like maneuver all the equipment so what we're gonna do is just drop a tree cut it up uh put it where it needs to go and then keep on doing that you yep. know pops also took off i think he's going on a little i think he's going to grandma's yeah, our so grandma he his goes, mom's yeah he's going to his mom's uh, so he left us all the equipment here and also we're probably going to take this thing up there right the can-am right. yep and you did some damage to it the other day probably just going crazy what, what were Dude, you doing i was i had the light bar on in the woods going through you know when you get a little you know you get a little daredevil in the woods and i was just going and there was like a little limb about that big actually uh I, I hit it with like the tie right here and it bent the tie rod so that's all it did i wonder if we can get some heavy duty ones but for right now we're gonna pop this sucker off straighten it out slap it back on there go up in the woods that's <laughs> right and also the raptor man just been getting scuffs and Dude, scratches man that thing is just an absolute ripper, man. I'm actually glad we got that. We're actually calling around to see if there's any more around here. All sold out, man. Dude, that's, so you're lucky you got that just in time, dude. I know, dude. dude. That's perfect. So that's just the perfect quad. It's fun to just rip around. We're running down the mountain, getting like waters, getting like fuel tanks and whatnot. So that's a that's a good piece of equipment. Yeah, right I know there, we dude. got the DRZs, but the DRZs, you know, you you kind of got to really put in the energy to stay straight. You I know mean, what I mean? If you want to like put in a bunch of like upper body strength, that's good. But this one, you're just chilling, man. Cruiser, man. <laughs> straight up just chilling right there yep. but anyways we're gonna go ahead and cook this steak we got four of them and uh we're gonna get right and then we're gonna go back into the woods there and, and uh, drop, drop a few more trees Alrighty guys, so it's actually the next day here and last night we worked late into the night with all the light bars fired up on the Jeep, the Can-Am over there, and of course the heavy equipment had the regular lights on them, which we probably need to upgrade those suckers to LEDs, but we managed to get some more work done and the fire's still burning this morning, so I think we're just gonna continue working. And actually last night what we did was just basically dig up the roots of some of the trees and just knock them over, which I think that's a pretty good method. We'll probably do that with the rest of the trees that we knocked down today. We got some huge pines that we gotta take care of. They are super sketchy but I think we're gonna try just digging those up as well because the chainsaw method is a little bit more sketchier, but I mean, they both work. I guess we'll just see here in a maybe, little bit. Maybe on that bigger tree, we won't be able to dig it up so much, but the reason why we're digging it up is that way the roots are not in the ground and the stumps are not left over. Yeah, that way we don't have to do stump grinding later. I think it's definitely a lot better. Look at that right there. We got a stump in there and it's just gonna burn up. And another thing that happened last night is actually I lost the Raptor key, not the quad key, the Ford Raptor over there. I had a lanyard sticking out of my pocket and I noticed actually some of the limbs as I was chainsawing, it was snagging it and pulling that out of my pocket. It did it once and I was just like, all right, I'm gonna put it back in there. I stuffed it in my pocket real nice and then about towards the end of the night, it just disappeared in this morning. We searched for it last night. Yeah, we searched for it for a couple of, I mean like an hour yep. everywhere, rubbishing through the leaves and stuff like that. We actually looked back through some footage and noticed when it was gone, yep. right? And this morning, we noticed it was gone around this fire right here. Yeah. So we started looking around this fire this morning and I think we found the key guts right here. Look at this, dude. It's 
melted. Oh my goodness, look at that. Dang, dude. That's, oh, it has a key still over there, dude. That That's still useful. We probably start the thing. Look at the battery, dude. It just like hollowed out, man. That is crazy, So that right man. there is all garbage. I think we can keep this and probably I think you can unscrew it and install it to the new key that we purchased and get it programmed. So no big deal. You know what? We'll just have to go to the Ford dealership, take care of that. But as of right now, just put this in my pocket and uh, I think we're gonna fire up the machines again, uh, knock down a couple more trees and do a little bit more land clearing. Alrighty guys, so check this out. So we just got out of the woods over there after knocking down a few more trees and clearing a few more things up. And a few things happened, didn't Dude, they? A few things happened. I mean, we actually punctured one of these tires <laughs> on this wheel over here. So we went back to the goon squad house to actually pick up a, what's it called? Spare. A, a spare that we had on the TJ, but this wheel would just not fit. The hub is completely different. But dude, check this thing out, man. I think it was just like a little piece the wood sticking out and <laughs> just it? punctured the whole entire thing dude, Where is right, it? Here. right there it's a straight up cut man that is crazy and i think there's a little bit of kevlar in there so it must have just got it like in the perfect just spot right, yeah dude. got it just right but you know what no big deal i think that's going to be pretty much it for today because it is getting a little muddy out there a lot of muddy i mean right now it's super muddy and uh we got to fix a few things got to get a key for the raptor got to get a tire for the jeep and uh got to knock a few more things down but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching today today's video definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything on the brand new goon squad house and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad also thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace